when they come out of the bee colony, they will sit down somewhere temporarily for a few hours usually, and then they will go on to a new location. So I am afraid if I leave these this swarm up here that it will go live somewhere else. I don't want to lose the bees because they have economic value for my honey business, but also most wild bee colonies do not live more than two years in the wild without human intervention because of the pest and disease that they have to combat. So I'm going to try to catch these bees and put them in this small hive. If I can do that, there's a chance they'll stay. And the great thing is, I don't have to catch all these bees. I just have to catch one bee. Can you guess who that one bee is? That one bee is the queen bee. When we have bees that are high up in a tree like this, it's frustrating to try to get them down. And sometimes you cannot. A swarm of bees hanging in a tree is not aggressive. And I could be standing here without protective gear on. It wouldn't be a problem. They do not feel threatened. But once I try to get them out of the tree, I think they're going to feel threatened. Therefore, the bee suit. Now, I can't climb that tree. And I'm not going to stand on a ladder. So, I have a pole and bucket contraption that I made. This is an old cat litter pail, like a tidy cat pail. And this pole is my 24 foot pole that I used to have with my above ground swimming pool. Now my goal, if this pole was long enough, is I'm going to raise this up under the swarm of bees. I'm going to bump the limb they're on. Hopefully, a bunch of bees will fall in this bucket and I will be able to get it back down to the ground before they all fly out. And if I'm really lucky, I'll get the queen in here and I can dump her in this one and put the lid on, not trapping them, but just kind of containing her. And if I can do this, the other bees will come down to her. Sometimes it takes more than one try. So let's get started and see what happens. is getting the bucket up in the tree. The other half of the problem is getting the bucket down out of the tree. It would be a really great thing if I could see the queen. Sometimes we get that lucky, sometimes we do not. I'm leaving some space in there because in a few moments I would like to look and see when the bees spread out if I might be able to find the queen. It would not be unusual for the bees to go into the box and if the queen's not in there to come back out. You can see that we still have a lot of bees sitting down up high. But down here on the ground we have bees going inside. But do we have the one bee? The one bee we need. Okay, now we can see that some of the bees at the front of this little colony are fanning or scenting and that means that they are releasing a pheromone to call the other bees, to call their sisters down.
This is a nasonoph gland. It's in the very last segment of the honeybee's body. And if you look really closely, you will see that some of the bees are standing and they have the very tips of their body right before the sting area open or flexed downward. And they will point their honeys straight up in the air almost. They are calling the colony. This looks promising. Well, here we are. I've done all I can do. I have a lot of bees scenting at the front, so I feel like the queen is inside. I added a small box and took a frame of baby bees out of one of my production colonies to give them an extra reason to stay. I also have a small feeder on top because we want to do everything we can to make them feel like this is a good place. I'm exhausted, but my job is not quite finished. Tonight, after dark, I will come up here and pick this box up and take it to the bee yard. And hopefully the bees will stay there. This is a prime example of beekeeping and it's not so much that it's hard, but there are certain things that you have to do at certain times. I did not plan to spend time this afternoon trying to catch a bee swarm, but it happened and it will happen. The best thing I can do now is leave them alone. Sometimes as beekeepers, we're so impatient to see, like I really want to see if that queen's in there. But I've looked a couple of times and I haven't found her. If I continue to harass these bees, it makes it more likely that they will leave. So we'll leave the bees alone and let them settle down. Hopefully they will decide to stay. This is Beekeeper Charlotte coming to you from Carolina Honey Bees Farm in South Carolina.